now until July 6th. Every $1 is gonna get you 20 entries towards winning this 2005 5.9 Cummins plus $5,000 cash. This deal will not be back. So when 20X entries end this time, they are gone and they will not return. Get in while you can, enter at lmpgear.com. Just place an order, buy anything you like, and you're automatically entered to win. <laughs>
get the wife and child to help me film this video. Sounds good though. It said zero to 60 was 10 seconds when I did it by myself, but that was like probably a horrible representation of how fast the truck actually could be because you can't really like build boost, shift gears and hit the timer at the right yeah, time. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not, it's not easy. Let's find a little back road here with no police or pedestrians or just other cars that don't want anything to do with racing. My wife's in here, she's gonna be hitting the clock for us. Hopefully we can get a good reading, a good representation of how quick this truck really is and actually build some boost and hopefully not have people pull up behind us, but we'll see. I'm gonna get right up past these people's houses first so that way I'm not like dumping coal into their yard. Cause I don't know if anybody's home or not, but I don't really wanna do that. Here we go. Wide open road. Ain't nobody behind us. Drop her down into first. Try to build up. Let's try to get it at about about 2,000 RPM. Hit the timer as soon as we as soon as I let off. Yep, ready? between like shifting from second to third where you got to shift it right like I'm gonna have the shop that is gonna do the tuning for this truck they they know their crap inside and out I'm gonna have them actually look at the ratchet shifter setup between second and third and ask them if there's any way to like refine that because like it's kind of weird like if you don't shift it far enough forward it gets like this in between second and third thing and just revs up high. And then if you push it too far past the third gear, it goes into neutral and then reverse then park. So it goes into neutral, revs up, and then you gotta like bump it back real quick with your finger and then it then it's in third. So it's kind of kind of annoying because I don't I don't know why it's like that, but most of the time, like if you know where that little sweet spot is, it's totally fine. You don't have an issue, but if you like shift it not far enough forward or too far forward it like revs up like it's like in neutral so it's kind of annoying but then once it hits the gear no it just drops and it's, in, it's locked in you know yeah yeah we're gonna do another one but that thing sits you back pretty good i mean i could have started good. it and you guys, a little bit earlier yeah and keep this in mind there's no tuning on this truck yet so this is just this is just your s464 your upgraded fuel system stuff. There's a bunch of, I made a video on all the stuff that was done to it. There's a bunch of fuel upgrades, bigger injectors and studs and all sorts of stuff. You wanna look at all the fueling upgrades, air upgrades, you know, turbo upgrade, all that stuff that's in a different video. There's a playlist called LNP DG25 and it's got all the info on this truck and all the videos. I think I can do a UE in this thing. Look at that, look at that. We're golden. Oh, we just let him. Well, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait until we get down on flat ground. I don't wanna do my pull zero to 60 going downhill, people would think. People might get the wrong idea about you, like Nacho said, so. Last time I let off and it was a little bit laggy, like it, like it could have used a little more building. Okay, as soon as I let off. Oh, wow. Let's redo oh, that. Yeah. It was just, okay, that is me up. it was just shredding the tires. Okay, here we go. There's like a, like dug a hole in the pavement. Look, are you serious? A little one, yeah. Oh god. Okay, here we go. Okay. Oh shoot. Sixty. Seven oh nine. Seven oh nine that time. Like I was like trying to build boost and it was building boost. That let was like But then like oh, wow. But then like when I was starting to let off, it just started like spinning the tires. I look behind and there's like there's like a little divot in the pavement. I didn't realize it was spinning the tires like that. And then it painted some lines. Ha yeah. <laughs> That was probably a way better one. Okay, now let's do one more. Oh my gosh. One more. I feel like it's a six and a half second truck. I just gotta get it 
I gotta shift it right from second to third. And it's a hot day. This pavement is hot, know, so these tires like are just, burning. they're just leaving rubber. wheel drive pulls. A good pull would probably be in four wheel drive and you probably would get a much better time out of it. But these are two wheel drive, seven seconds again, seven, eight. So the best that we got out of it today was seven, so 704 or no, seven, 709. 709. Okay. Not 790, 709. So, um, not bad, not bad for no tuning done on the truck. There's no tuning on it. We're hoping to get like 150 to 180 horse tune on it. He's hoping that we can clean up the smoke a little bit, get it to light up a little bit better, the turbo, and just help it run better in general. Really get more usable power out of the truck. So we'll see. So right now, this is a before tuning run. It's seven pretty, seconds, essentially. It's I mean, pretty fast, even seven seconds. Yeah, seven seconds with a little bit of tire spin every time. It'll but still, um, It'll still leave me smiling. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, it's not slow. No, it's not I mean, slow. that's, I this mean. This thing would leave Rosine <laughs> freaking dust. But yeah, like seven, seven seconds on a freaking heavy truck is not, it's not like slow. I mean, the truck's definitely got more potential, probably in four wheel drive, but I bet you it's a six second, six and a half second truck in four wheel drive, not freaking spinning the whole time. So we're gonna go right now, we gotta drop this truck off to get paint work done. So we're on our way right now, gonna be dropping the truck off for some paint correction stuff and some paint matching. And hopefully this thing turns out really good. I think it'll turn out good. Other than I think one truck, I haven't had many trucks that are completely color matched, like all white. So I'm kind of curious, I'm kind of curious first off how much it's gonna cost. It's probably gonna kind of curious on how much it's gonna cost me. But I do want to know also like what it looks like to have this in fully color matched white because like I haven't had a fully white color matched truck in, I think I've had one. I'm excited, I'm freaking stoked. I think it's gonna turn out really good. And I think I'm gonna let you guys know what it actually costs me to do the full paint match. I kind of like letting you guys know that stuff. Like some people are like, oh, you're just flexing by letting people know what stuff costs. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm letting you know what it costs so you know what it costs roughly in case you want to get it done on your own truck or something, you know? That way you at least have some kind of an idea of what, it, you know, somebody's paying for that kind of work. I mean, it's not like a flex to be like, oh, look how much money I spent on paint matching a truck that I'm giving to somebody. Like, you know what I mean? At least to me, it's not really, a, it's not a flex. It's just kind of, I'm just giving you information of what's going on. We ended up going with doing a little bit more than I originally told you. We're going to be doing a little bit more than just color matching the mirrors, grill, door handles, and uh, some other small stuff, the whole front bumper. Um, we're actually gonna be also doing some paint correction stuff and painting a few other things. I'll go, I'll go over that stuff when we actually get the truck back. What we are doing, $3,500, but $1,400 of it is just for paint matching. So he actually, he usually cuts me a pretty darn good deal on paint matching because I take him so much stuff. But um, generally, for paint matching like bumpers, door handles, mirrors, just a lot of that type of stuff. Generally, you're gonna be in that 1,500-ish to $2,000 range. Generally, that's what it's gonna run you. I'll go over everything that we did. It's just gonna be a lot to explain to not actually be able to have the truck here to show you so that you fully understand what I'm talking about. And I'm gonna go over it when we get the truck back anyways, so there's no point in going over all those details right now. And the winner for this truck was actually called. We don't have permission to release the name yet. I believe he is waiting on some signed documentation from the winner, verifying his, you know, who he is and his identity and whatever else, just legal stuff before we can release the truck to him. That information should be readily available on our Instagram here already. By the time you see this video, that information should be already posted unless he's taken forever to sign the paperwork and send it back. But usually winners are pretty quick because they want to get their truck quick. Guys, stay tuned on that. If you want to stay up to date with the information as soon as it's available, make sure you follow us on our Instagram because it's probably already been posted there by the time you see this video because this video is going up two days after 
I'm filming it. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know down in the comment section below, what was your favorite part of the video? Leave a thumbs up. Don't forget that if you want to enter to win that white third gen Cummins that we showed you earlier here, all you got to do is go to lmpgear.com and place an order today. And guess what? 20X entries just went live and they're going to be available for this week. You got, I think, six more days for 20X entries, and 20X entries this time will not be back. In the past, we would do 20X entries and we'd bring it back at the very end of the giveaway. 20X entries, when they end here, they are done. They're not coming back. So if you want to get your 20X entries, get them while you can. Best of luck to you. Just place an order at lmpgear.com and you're automatically entered to win that white third gen Cummins plus $5,000 cash. Thanks so much, guys. Catch you in the next video. Peace.